What's going on you guys? It's Sage back with another episode of uh, How to Win. So if you don't know, in this series I teach you guys how to win. Today we're playing some Domination on Interchange um, and I'm going to show you guys, you know, how to win. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do some random game breaks where I show you uh, basically what, what we're doing as a team um, and what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong. So uh, it, it might sound awkward, we'll find out, but I'm going to do kind of two separate commentaries. Uh, this one right now where I'm going to do game breaks um, and then I'm going to do the rest of the game uh, commentary uh, separate from that, but you guys won't notice it because it's going to be in the video. Don't worry about it. Anyway, let's get this show on the road. Okay, so what we're going to do on the breakout, we want to try and get C and B because it's a little uh, more fun, I guess. I don't know if it's easier or harder to spawn kill, uh, but it's... Uh, I like spawn killing uh, at A better, so we try and take C and B and spawn kill at A. There's a guy back here already. Um, so I think they went for C, maybe C and B. They didn't go to A, so uh, they're not going to cap anything right away. Uh, this is where I like to set up and snipe. So um, sometimes you can uh, hang out behind the uh, cement blocks or whatever right here, uh, like I do, but then I move up in front of it. Just, oh, and quick scope. Well, that's not really a quick scope. Final stand already. We're like seven seconds into the game. Um, I, I like to lay right here because if they if they just like lay down or camp on that other side of the tunnel, uh, it's easier to see them um, as opposed to uh, sitting behind the the blocks over there where you have to be a little more on the right. All right, this is a good time for our first game break. So let's see what we got got going on over here. We have C and B, and the other team has not capped anything yet. Um, so as you can see, Sin Freak is on this side of the map. He's watching the tunnel. We're gonna pan over here really quick. Rebel is watching the middle. He's pushed in a little bit. Uh, Jar's in the middle of the map and I'm over here on the right side. I think Spartan Wolf um, is also going to join me on the right side over there. So as you can see we have their base locked down. They can't get out um, unless they kill us uh, basically. So Sin Freak is going to cover this left side. He picks up a kill. Um, there's a couple more guys coming and he's going to try and take him out but he will get taken out. Now as you can see Jar is going to switch to that side as soon as he gets taken out. Um, and I think Jar gets a kill and then he's going to go down, but Rebel Soldier is now looking that way. So we've pretty much got that left side locked down. Okay, so Rebel Soldier just gave up the middle, but as you can see, uh, Danny and I, I like to lay down in this spot and uh, I can see them if they try to just camp right on the other side of the tunnel. And uh, Danny is going to cover my right uh, as I lay down and snipe. So as you can see, we still have their whole base uh, locked down. They pretty much have to kill at least, you know, uh, three or four of us at the same time if they want to get out. Alright guys, this is uh, game break number two, so check this out. Um, a couple of the guys in the game quit, and uh, we're still spawn killing them, but the one thing that is going to ruin our um, strategy here is that there's new people coming into the game. Now, we haven't pushed into A any further than we um, than we have the entire game, and they were spawning there the whole time, but the new players that are joining the game are going to spawn back at C, and that's going to be kind of troublesome for us. Uh, but as you'll see, we'll adopt. We will adapt really quick. Uh, I'm going to put my Reaper up, and not. I won't get C in time. Um, they're going to cap C, but uh, we're going to take A, and we're just going to flip the map and uh, start spawn killing at C. So let's see how we do at C. All right. So I like to hang out over here. Um, not the safest place, but you get a lot of action, and you do have some cover. And I get kind of lucky again with the sp spamming of the trigger to get my Osprey Gunner, which is uh, pretty nice. So I'm going to put that. I think I'll wait to put it up or something. And there's my first unlucky death. All right. Time to put my Osprey Gunner up. We'll speed through this really quick because nobody really cares. Kind of unfortunate. I got stuck over there uh, spawn. Well, I get a few kills and then... The dude flies right over their house over here and I uh, can't shoot straight down. Can't kill anything. Whatevs. I just said whatevs. That's right. And I get predatored coming out of my uh, Osprey. Awesome. Alright, so we're going to go try and really set up now. See what we can do. Uh, I kind of uh, I kind of told Sinfreak, uh, I see you're covering B, but let's go spawn kill already. Like, could easily do that. So uh, he moves up with me. Alright guys, here's another game break. So, uh... We're trying to move up to C and spawn kill them there. Um, I'm going to hang out by the fire trucks here 
And let's look, we got Sin Freak and Rebel on my left, okay? Not a bad idea to have three people on the left side, that's fine, uh, maybe even four. But uh, as you can see, Sin Freak, Rebel, and I are all looking the same way. Um, what we want to have, uh, I'll show you in a second. Um, I think Spartan is in a, a kill streak or something. Yeah, he's in an assault drone. All right, we'll just skip ahead a little bit um, to where we are set up. So as you can see, a lot different here. Sin Freak is set up on the left, which is perfect. It's just better to have someone covering the left side uh, just in case someone gets by. Um, now, Rebel and I, this is fine to have two people on this wall. Um, as you can see, that it gets pretty heavy over there. There's three people right now. Uh, Danny's in another kill streak back here. We have a weak uh, right side this time. So as you can see, we fixed one problem, but we left the other side kind of open. Um, but again, it didn't really hurt us because we got kill streaks in the air and we got, um, you know, we can look to the right if we really have to. So anyway, guys, um, I basically just showed you how to use both sides of the map here on Interchange Domination. Um, this was a good game. I'm glad we got this one, and I did well in it. We all did well, pretty much. Um, so I didn't, uh, I didn't have to waste two videos or show you two, two different games or anything like that. Um, it all came together in this game, so I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you use this tactic. And uh, yeah, leave me some, uh, some love, like, and comment, and share, and all that fun stuff. And as usual, I will see you guys in the near future with another video. Uh, Alright, take care y'all. Peace.